Hi, I'm Shnashai Calvin and you are watching What's On. Now we have a really exciting show for you today. It's in the second half of the show, I'll be joined by Jennifer Mears, who is the festival director of the Litchfield Arts Festival, which takes place between the 4th and the 13th of July. The festival attracts over 50,000 visitors and it is growing year on year. And in the studio with me right now is Tonya Daly Campbell, actress, drama practitioner and the founder of Axe Drama Group. Axe are performing two shows. The five to 10 year old show is called A Time to Travel and the 11 to 18 year old show is called A Lovely Day. Now before I welcome Tonya to What's On, let's see what Axe is all about. Fun! Exciting! Acting! Creativity! Remember where you're coming from. Remember who you are. All the Hamptons made of melodies. Remember you're a star. Remember where you're coming from. Remember who you are. All the Hamptons made of melodies. Remember you're a star. Remember where you're coming from. Remember who you are. All the Hamptons made of melodies. Remember you're a star. Remember Crazy. Remember who you are. All the Hamptons made of melodies. Remember you're a star. I'm a star. She lifts me up quite easily, quite I calmly. I try and try. Excited. Friends. <laughs> Is your child interested in joining a class full of drama, crazy games, exciting opportunities, and fun, fun, fun? Well, look no further. Sign up for Tony Daly Campbell Axe. Call us on 0779 555 6853. Welcome, Tonya. Hey. hey! Thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> it's OK. So obviously, the video we just saw, the kids seem to have, like, so much fun, and it seems, like, really exciting. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's really what it's all about. Young people are my heartbeat, mm -hmm. and um, Axe, I, I, I set up Axe so that young people could have a place to go um, and learn theatre, skills, skills for TV, um, skills for commercial skills, you know, skills for life, to mm -hmm. be fair. Because um, drama, performing arts, creative arts, they're just amazing tools for young people. They're, you know, you, you find some amazing young people and, uh, you know, Axe is all about fun, yeah. crazy, creativity. <laughs> Like myself. <laughs> so, obviously, so you case of is it two separate ages as well? Yes, Max? yes. Is it quite hard sort of making different subjects for like different ages or is it quite easy? No, not, not really because uh, the basis of, of acts and, and how I train the young people is all about imagination, it's all about improvisation, that is the core. So no matter what age you are, even as an adult, you know, using improvisation really, really, really helps people to just broaden their imagination and, and step outside the box and be creative. Mm -hmm. So no, not really, it's, uh, it, it's just a little, it's just just different for the younger people but it's not it's you know it's not a a big change mm -hmm. as i mentioned in like the introduction that you're an actress yourself really <laughs> so um how do you sort of balance the two is it quite hard or is it does it work um, hand in hand i think at the end of the day no matter what you do in life you like it's there's always a balance isn't there yeah. um some people like to cram loads in I'm one of those people. Yeah, <laughs> Some people just like to easy and relax. <laughs> you know? um, so it, 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 it's a balance, that's what I would say. And um, 
years and years ago, I would cram far too much in because I am a mother as well. Mm -hmm. And and uh, as I've got older and wiser, <laughs> I am I'm, I'm a lot more. I, I think about what it is that I do, and and just kind of like I said, play that balance and act. But I, you know, I've wanted to be an actress since the age of eight, and I absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. I've been professionally trained for over 15 years, and I've been working in the industry for a while now. Um, and and I love and I love it, but I also love being out in the community, working with young people and inspiring them mm -hmm. in the best way I know. Because I've seen you perform as well, and I'm not just saying, I'm not being biased for no reason, but you actually are a really, really good actress. Yeah, I so think, I'm not just saying yeah, that. Yeah, I am See, quite I like good. <laughs> And no, I'm okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've actually been able to act with some members of your drama group as well, haven't you? Or well, it? yeah, recently, um, well, we've we got a really nice uh, TV role. Yeah, so, yeah. woo woo, for the TV. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell yeah. us a little bit about more, though? Is it a bit of a... Bit yeah, of a no, no, or? well, it's um, a new film that's coming out on BBC One called Danny and the Human Zoo, mm -hmm. written by Lenny Henry, <gasps> Sir... Lenworth Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Need to get that wrong. <laughs> I love that. Oh, so do I. Um, I'm not sure if if, if if he would say it like so, so Len Lenworth, Lenworth, Lenworth like Henry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it was such a great show to be involved in. Mm -hmm. The production team, Red um, Red Production, they were just great, great. And um, so what had happened is um, they were looking for casting for young for the young characters and within within my drama school we have um, an agency mm -hmm. red talent management who's my agent rob hi rob, oh, <laughs> hi, rob. <laughs> um, basically he I, I approached rob and said you know it'd be really good if i could get uh, an agency going for the young people because we're based in wolverhampton sometimes people you know young people from wolverhampton they wouldn't even dream about whether they could get involved in TV, yeah, like how true. do I go about that? So for me, it's about opening those doors and enabling, empowering, you know, because sometimes you just don't think that that is a possibility unless you're in London. Do you yeah, know what I mean? True. I'm glad that you're bringing it right here in yeah, the Midlands. Yeah, right in the Midlands. It's got to be for the Midlands, you know. Like for the Midlands. Don't, 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 don't dis Midlands. No, no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so basically, for me, I spoke to Rob, and Rob was so keen to, to have a, a youth, a young people's um, performing side to the agency. So what, what happened is we, we got the young people some castings. We've been, different, different things have been coming through, and then this one came up. <gasps> and, uh, you know, our young people, they went for the castings and they got the roles we we had um, four of our young people in the film I was that just is. like what for you I was like this is just amazing ah! I, I, I just so get I, I was more excited that the young people had got a part than myself like I'd forgotten that I was like I'd been cast mm -hmm. because I, I was in the middle of a tour um, excuse me yeah I was in the middle of a tour and then I got a phone, I got a phone call from my agent saying oh, Tonya the the casting director, she's met you before, she really likes you, and uh, would you would you come and just um, do uh, an audition mm -hmm. for Mrs. Patterson? You're not the right age, you're, you're a little bit young for it, but you know, you could play it, and which I, I can, I, I'm, I'm a character okay, actress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can play, I can play, oh, oh that you me, I can, you know? <laughs> so basically, um, I, I basically I, I went for the casting. So ra finished one show, ran on, jump, jumped on the, in the car to, on the motorway, Birmingham, did the audition, came mm -hmm. back, did another show. Oh, That's wow. the kind of balance I'm talking about. Nice. Do you know what I mean? You've got to do it. Do. So I did that. We waited for ages to find out if you'd got the part, and then I'd got an email saying they want you. Yeah. Did I was it. like, yes. You did it. <laughs> but I was like I said, that was so. It's so exciting for me. You know, doing TV, theatre, um, presenting, all the different things that I do. Mm -hmm. It's 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 great. I, I just I just absolutely love it. Um, not one is better than the other. You know, I love the buzz of theatre. It's live. It is amazing. So and talking it's about just, oh. we could talk about this. No, no, age. sorry. Oh, you no, need to stop me. Well, you um, need to stop me. Before we do, sort of need to round up. Can you quickly tell us about the shows which are happening oh, yeah. very soon? Brilliant. Yeah. So the shows have been written by um, one of them, the one for the young older group. Sorry, has been written by a former student of mine, mm -hmm. and she's gone on to do amazing things. Um, she's now professionally writing. Her name's Ursula Clayton. She wrote A Lovely Day, mm -hmm. and it's a real challenge for our young people because they're having to. Experience Explore um, physical theatre, doing things outside of their comfort zone. Oh, nice. So it's really exciting. It's a challenge, and that's going to be performed um, at the New Hampton Art Centre. And so that's really about um, Wolverhampton 
apocalypse, that's all I'm going to say. Mm. Turn Wolverhampton upside down and uh, see how it goes. Um, so that, And then the younger group, is uh, that's been written by Laura Sandbrooks. Um, and I met her through CYT. She's a lovely, lovely really young lady. And that's for our 5 to 11, 5 to 10 year old, sorry. And, and that's um, a time travel, a time to travel. It's all about time travel and the kids are crazy. <gasps> That's all I can say about it, because you need to come and see it. We do, yeah. we really do. And if people do want to get in contact with you or want to be a, a part of Acts, oh, we just yeah. sort of just contact you Oh, personally. yeah, definitely. Um, Facebook, um, I've got a Facebook page, and my number's on there as well. Please, um, you know, you can send my details out through, through this show. I've been cool. really good. So thank you so much for joining thank me, Tanya. Thank you, thank you for thank having you. me. It's been our pleasure. Been, yeah, we could talk for ages. We really could. You get me on again, we'll have another chat. Yeah, we'll have another chat. <laughs> So just a mind of the day, you can see Axe perform on Thursday the 25th and Friday the 26th of June. And after the break, I'll be joined by Jennifer Mears and we'll be talking about this year's Litchfield Festival. I'll see you soon. Well, with me now is Jennifer Mears, who's one of the organisers of the Litchfield Arts Festival. And this year, the festival features classical music, jazz, theatre, comedy, and plenty for the family to enjoy. So there really is something for everyone. So welcome, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. No problem at all. Um, so before we talk a little bit more about the festival, and um, what is your background and why did you want to set up the festival? Uh, well, I, I didn't set up the festival myself. It's been running for 34 years. Um, and I joined about eight years ago to do all of the education work. Um, so I work with a lot of families and schools and um, bringing a lot of local people into the festival. And then just last year, I took over running it. So, um, so now it's all, oh, on, my, wow. all on my desk. Um, but it's, it's a real privilege to be able to take something on that's been running for so long and so, it's a big part of the local culture so have you managed to make it last for like 34 years then what, um, what's the secret the secret um, i think is keeping it really varied but also um keeping our audiences who come back every year um really happy as well so it's it's kind of finding that balance between um, looking after your core audience and then bringing new people in and providing something exciting and different each year as well. Mm -hmm. So how do you go about finding like different acts for the festival? Um, we start, we actually sort of plan year round, so um, we start booking for the next one pretty much as soon as the other one's finished, uh, if not before, and we go out looking all over the world really for, for people, um, but we also do a lot of projects in-house as well, um, mm -hmm. in performance and in community work, so a lot of it is sitting around having cups of tea and cake and actually <laughs> just having a think about crazy ideas. Ideas we could come that's, up with. that's not too bad no, then, it's, I good. Guess. it's a good way to work <laughs> so is it quite is it quite a challenge like hosting a festival like this in Litchfield or do people actually travel to this people city? do travel um, and the city gets really really busy um, we're quite lucky in Litchfield that there are so much going on through the yeah. summer so so many different festivals that people get used to actually coming across and spending time and it's a lovely place to visit as well there's lots of things to see that are not festival based um, so yeah we find that people come across for a weekend a few days and and actually spend some time there um, which is great so this is what I love like obviously I keep mentioning like big names such as like places in London which host festivals or even like Edinburgh per se but it's nice that it's bringing it right here in the Midlands, Absolutely. I guess, which is, which yeah. is really nice. Yeah. So who can we expect to see in this year's festival then? This year we've got a really diverse mix. Um, we programme from classical music right through to family, as you said. Um, so this year we've got two big comedians who you'll see on Mock the Week and, and Mo never mind the Buzzcocks. Um, so the first oh. one is Mark Watson, who's mm -hmm. a big Mock the Week regular. And then finishing the festival on the Saturday night, we've got uh, Marcus Brigstock as well. So two big stand-up comedy names. And then at the other end of the spectrum, we have... Um, the award-winning cellist Julian Lloyd Webber is coming to, um, to talk about his life and his career. And we have Michael Morpurgo, uh, the children's author and former children's laureate who wrote War Horse. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Um, so he's coming to do a show with, um, with an orchestra as well about his book, The Mozart Question. So a real kind of different mix of things for Yeah, everybody. really big names as well. Yeah. So you should, be, you should be really proud of yourselves. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> so what are the key venues where, that, where these are actually taking place then? Well, we take over Litchfield Cathedral for 10 days and we turn it into a concert venue. So most of our big concerts... Um, that they happen there. Um, a lot of our other theatre work and dance work uh, happens at the Litchfield Garrick Theatre as well. And then we do, we use hotels and local churches, local church halls, and really kind of fill the city with different events. Is it like a community then? Does everyone literally just pull together to celebrate yeah, this event? Yeah, we work, there's about four of us that work through the year, but then we have about 70 volunteers who come in and volunteer on that uh, over those oh, 10 that's days. Really nice. um, so we couldn't do it without them. 
Um, and yeah, everyone kind of pulls together and makes it happen, really, which is great. Mm -hmm. So we were talking like earlier as well, and you mentioned a bit of like an elephant parade, yes. which I think sounds <laughs> amazing. Tell us a little bit, a bit more about that, please. Well, it's not real elephants, that's the first thing. Oh, it's thing. not real elephants. No. Um, <laughs> we have 35 ele um, elephant models that have been painted by local businesses and schools, local charities, and they get put around the city for the 10 days um, as a, a giant city art project, really. Um, and then at the end, we auction them for charity. Um, so Aww. we have a big kind of auction and uh, a big tea party just to celebrate it so yeah we have 35 different models at the moment and it's engaged about 5,000 different people in uh, in the working of it so that is massive yeah. that is so good and obviously you mentioned before like that um, it's ended in is it Dryer Manor Park as well yes. so what, how does that sort of work then does that sort of tie in with the theme park as well or is it just it a different yeah, area the, um, the festival party this year is at Drayton Manor Park they're celebrating their 65th anniversary and wanted to look at a kind of uh, vintage tea party thing so we're working together in partnership with them to um, to bring the three bells who are a um, vocal harmony group and the Bevan boys who are kind of swing band um, to do a big family sock hop 1950s party so um, so yeah so it's it includes um, tickets include kind of entry to the park and the party itself and it's just an excuse to everyone to get together no matter what age and have a good knees up really that's what I love so, about this like it literally does appeal to everyone so yeah. if you just want to go off and have a laugh listen to some music or take the family there's something for everyone there to enjoy and we have free events every Saturday as well so big market events and things so if you want to just come along and enjoy something and just get a feel for what's going on in Litchfield you can oh, so um, quickly so all what, sorts of what's the future for the festival have you got any like plans so far? Um, well, actually, next year is our big anniversary year. So the main festival is 35 years old next year. And our literature festival, which is our second one that happens every October, will be 10 years old. So, so we're already planning now one. for a big, big anniversary <laughs> year for next year. Yeah. So I hope we'll pull you in for that one. We can obviously find more about that festival. Absolutely, yes. So thank you so much for joining me. No problem at all. Thank you. Thank you. Well, as I'm sure you're all aware, we've been holding a competition where six of our lucky viewers could get their hands on some merchandise from a local rock band, E of E. And one lucky winner will get to see the band perform at Litchfield Rocks. Well, we're just going to draw the winners ourselves, but you are not going to believe who has just turned up. But we asked you to name the lead singer of the band, and we've got two for the price of one. And here he is with the lead guitarist. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Oh, Thanks for having us on. So, um, <laughs> before we win, before we draw, actually, all these lucky winners, how did um, Download go first? It was incredible, yeah. We got there and at one o'clock, so the sun was out. We got some beers they gave us backstage, so can't really complain. Oh, nice. How did you find it as well? Yeah, pretty much the same, yeah. Free beers, good crowds. Yeah. That's what you wanted, it? So. Exactly. Very, very cheer. So let's not waste any more time. We'd say thank you so much everyone who actually has applied and obviously answered the question. So, oh, before we do that, what is your name? See if you've got it right. My name is Tom Harris. Tom Harris. Well, if you answer that question correctly, then your name will be in this book. So, do you want to draw the first one? Yep. Ooh. Okay. Shall I reveal it? Yep. So, the winner is Sue Green. Oh, well done, Sue. To do the next one. There's quite a few to get through. <laughs> Is Abby Simpson Bagnall. Oh, yeah. Do you know another one? <laughs> Don't take that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to put these now. Okay, next one is Tammy Dunford. Well done, Tammy. Next one is Giovanna Sanid. I, I hope I said that right. <laughs> 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 Either way, you've won some prizes anyway, so that might up for it. <laughs> Uh, next one is Charlotte Lewis. Oh, well done, Charlotte. Congratulations. And last but not least... Just mix it around. Mix it around a bit. Got Michelle Leyland. Oh, so well done to everyone. Well done. Thank you. Now, as you said, just going to fold them all up again. Yeah. One of the lucky winners will actually win, get to actually go and see the guys perform at Litchfield Rocks. So we're going to do the sell some names in here. We're going to pop those names back in as well, so give that a bit of a shake. Just give that a bit of a shake for me, actually. I'm not cheating. And in case you're wondering, you guys have just actually won this really, really cool T-shirt. And also a CD as well, so well done to you guys. Now we're going to find out who has won the grand prize. Better let Tom do that one. Tom do that one. Right, so all the people who guess my name right. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the winner is... Charlotte Lewis again. Oh, welcome, Charlotte. <laughs> Thank you. 
And can you just pop that back in? I just want to say thank you so much for joining me again, guys. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Thank you. And thank you for everyone who actually did enter the competition as well. Thank you.